The upcoming Pocketbook Ink poster garnered a lot of attention at CES, but there were a lot of questions that you guys had in the previous video that I posted. So I connected with Enrico, who works at Pocketbook, to get some of the answers for you guys. Everyone, this is Enrico, and he is a representative of Ink Poster now, which is a sub-brand of Pocketbook. If you saw the video from CES, he was kind of there doing some of the demos of the devices coming to market soon. And so a lot of viewers had questions about the ink poster and uh, I've had some too. So I've kind of collected those and uh, we're going to walk through those with Enrico and uh, hopefully get some, some more clarification on some stuff. Thanks for joining. Thanks for the opportunity talking to you and to, audi to your audience again. People are, are very excited for the product. So let's get into some of the questions. The first one we were just talking about is the Sharp Exo technology that you mentioned. Yeah. That is uh, specifically in the 28.5 inch version. People wanted to know a little bit more about that. Yes, I can tell a little bit. And I would also like to share some, some link to, to Sharp for your audience. So this is the new technology of a TFT backplane. And together with the EX Spectra 6 technology, um, it enables the screen to have a, a, a standard color gamut. And, and also a greater color saturation and a better contrast. So um, this is just a really much better performance of, of Spectra 6. Mm -hmm. Great. And um, currently that's only in the uh, 28.5, correct? We have it right now in the current portfolio. Um, we have it uh, in the in the 28.5 inch uh, uh, screen. Beep it future and the bigger one. I know when you guys launch, there's three models. Is the 28.5 going to launch at the same time, roughly? It's going to be more or less the same time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. So all three screens are more or less at the same time available. Great. Okay, gotcha. For the next question, I know there is a Android slash iOS application. Do you know if there's going to be anything that will be developed for like uh, the PC or Mac or maybe just like an online portal of some sort? This is this is not yet in 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 development, um, but we are evaluating that for B two B projects, for example, because there are some there there had been some discussions about really interesting uh, uh, projects and to use it for for bigger houses and so on to manage several screens. Uh, in of course, it's also possible within the application, but for some needs, it might be yeah. So you you're asking for that, of course. Uh, to to have it on a, on a bigger screen and to manage it in in a better way, uh, we are considering that at the moment. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can imagine for for may, maybe for like you're saying bigger applications, like if a hotel or something had it like that, it could be could be useful, right? So I guess also in terms of the connectivity, is it uh, always connected to Wi-Fi? Or is it like checking for updates often? Just I guess in terms of like the battery life and. I know it has really good battery life because it's six six months to a year, but is that is that something that it's constantly connecting to, or is it uh, how does that work? So the device is always uh, in a deep sleep mode, and then periodically it's checking for updates. Okay. This is this is how it's gonna work. So that's what enables the good battery life. And what I what I would like to add is that of course together with the with the e technology. It's also safe for for the bedroom, for example. So because you don't have any frequency, if you compare it with with large TFT screens, um, you always have some light uh, and and something like that. It might disturb you, but with the with the ink poster, uh, it's really it's a safe product, I would say, because uh, you know no no front light, no frequency, and and it's safe for for really bedrooms, sleeping places, something like that. Gotcha. Okay, great. And then the next question um, that I, I think I think I had a few viewers that uh, that kind of asked us was um, if Ink Poster. I know these are clearly like the more premium. Like we can see the one the one behind you on the wall there, or your your background. It's like a very premium looking device. Is that something that you guys would ever consider making something without the pass part out? Um, that would be something like maybe smaller, cheaper that people could have more of, or are you targeting specifically the kind of like museum quality pieces? At the moment, we are focusing on that high quality products and really with, with a metal frame and something really, a really worthy product. 
we are considering um, to have more variety. I mean, with the with the frames and with the Pascal two, um, but not uh, we are not focusing on smaller screens. Uh, for the future, we are looking for opportunities to even double the size or something like that. Like that, uh, like that prototype we saw. <laughs> yes, we have already a one as a prototype, and 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 this is what we are looking for uh, to to produce in the in the in the next years. Okay, great. This is this is something that I had a few questions about. I personally don't think it's really an issue of like, you know, your average battery has about 500 to 1000 charge cycles. And so realistically, if you think if you're charging it every six months to a year, that's 250 to 500 years, you're not going to see degradation of the battery. But let's say on the off chance, there was one that was defective or something happened to it and it needed to be replaced. Is that something that it would be done by ink poster or is that something that uh is easily accessible or how how would that kind of work uh from from NGO society we will not have, have access but if there would be any any issues uh we have service centers who can help and if it's within the warranty time of course we're gonna exchange it for for free that's for sure there will um warranty on the local needs actually i'm just remembering something when we were at ces you mentioned that you guys are expanding to have a u.s uh distribution as well is that correct we collected luckily a lot of contacts and right now we are talking to all of them we are investigating with whom we are gonna start and also uh, setting up the, the, all the logistics, or this is already more or less done. Gotcha. And then these are a few uh, regarding the application specifically. Let's say the, the piece behind you. Is there any sort of function that you guys would be looking at that would allow you to have like a divided um, multiple pieces of art within that? Or is it uh, it's kind of specifically just for the size that it's in? We, we've tested the, this scenario, um, but at the moment we didn't find it really excellent, I would, I would say. Um, but for the, for the future, users will have a chance also um, to split it through third party app or something like that and, and, and to upload it all to several devices that are placed right next to each other. But for the for the beginning, it's 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 not enabled for that. Okay, and then kind of piggybacking on the app, is it possible to display in black and white in the uh, the application? Yes, sure, sure. So black and white definitely also works well. This is this is not a problem, and um, it's also it's not about the format because we will convert all the given pictures and um, we will convert them that they fit perfectly to the screen okay so you can deliver more or less any kind of format and it will be transferred to the to the screen through our surface and then it will be optimized for the for the screen so when you showed me the application there were uh there were a lot of pieces of art in there and then there was also like uh you know photos that you could upload for the art specifically is that going to be um, stuff that will be included with the ink poster or will be, there also be like some sort of subscription for like premium art or how is that going to work? Um, we hired already people for that, finding really something extraordinary, something new. Um, but for the first release, there will be no subscription. But in the near future, definitely this is that. Gotcha. And then one question I got from uh, from viewers was when, kind of people are uploading their own photos does that go directly to the device or is that going like to a server it goes through our servers okay. um, because we want to achieve the best uh, uh, scenario or the best quality and that's why the upload goes through our servers to have uh, to optimize it that it fits and that also the, the colors are really presented in a nice way it's not sent directly it always through some some servers cloud uh, from from our side okay yeah because i learned i learned um i've been like looking into spectra 6 more and just like the technology and i've learned that a lot of uh the final result is actually 
kind of based off of the algorithms that are used for the dithering and all the, the combination of the colors. So is that something that people can like, are they able to tweak or is that done all through a uh, pocketbook? At the moment it's done automatically. So there are no possibilities to make any, to make any changes. So we, uh, we, we take the picture and, and the application, um, uh, prepares the picture in the best possible quality, I would say. Mm -hmm. Like I just told you, I was reading into Spectra 6 a little bit more, but it, uh, it won display of the year for 2024, which is, is pretty cool and uh, kind, of, uh, kind of exciting. I mean, I think that's why it was, was so popular it was partially because it won display of the year, so that just proves how good it is, right? <laughs> As, as I said, I also saw the, the, saw the screen only short before the exhibition and it's amazing. So it's, it's really, I, I mean, you, you, you do a lot of things with, with ebook readers, you see the possibilities of color there and it's completely different experience, uh, with the, with, with the, with the Spectra, Spectra 6, 6, uh, te technology. So it's really nice colors, deep colors, and it looks like, like a really, uh, high quality printing, I, I would say compared to the, to the things you have on colored ink screens right now. Yeah. So I was talking to some guy on Reddit who built his own one. He was saying he showed it to a bunch of his friends and none of them were able to tell that it was, none of them even questioned that it wasn't paper. They were like, yeah, thought it was real, you know? Yeah. This is more or less the, the, the feedback or the first question uh at, at the exhibition uh, people came and what is it yeah why do you, why do you show pictures here and then you start explaining it's 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 a device it's not a device yeah it's a, yes it is a device <laughs> show the connect ball and all that stuff and and you have a good and nice room. and then it became wow so what a what a cool idea i can place it wherever i want without any plug all that stuff i i explained in the video already so that's that's me. You know, people had had been impressed, and they always compare that with compare us with with Samsung Frame, and they said that they, a lot of people use that. So I would say twenty thirty percent um, of of our, our uh, people we talked to at the exhibition talked about that the Samsung Frame, and they said, "Oh, this is more innovative and and gives me more opportunities to show to show nice pictures." You know. Yeah, and less less things that look like screens in your life, right? <laughs> we're we're constantly surrounded by screens already, so it's it's nice to have something that is a screen but doesn't have the typical technology associated with a screen, you know. No, and with, there is no big brand name on the frame or something like that. The connector is really hidden. So, I mean, if you don't tell anybody, I would say ninety five percent. <laughs> people who are visiting you at home will not know that this is a device you have on your, on your wall. They will not even recognize. And uh, as you can see, the, the response was, was great too by people at CS and, uh, and, and viewers as well. So uh, I think a lot of people are going to be excited for it. Yes, and we would also like to see some review from, from you as soon as possible, as soon as we can ship something uh, for, for, for testing. Cer certainly, yeah, I, w I would love to. I'd love to uh, compare it to Gallery and Kaleido and just and show how much, much more vibrant it is, you know. If, uh, if you guys have questions, just leave them below. Thank you to Enrico for, for answering a lot of your questions. If you have any more, let me know and I can, I can just probably shoot him an email. We always can get in touch and flood many thanks for the opportunity to talk to your audience again. Yes, definitely. Look, looking forward to the, the product. Very, very exciting.